Hello all, I am your social teacher back again with history 9th standard, unit 2, part 3 of the lesson Ancient Civilization. I hope all are fine, hale and healthy. Come let's go into the lesson. Learning Objective To know about the Chinese Civilization Introduction China has two major rivers. One is known as Hawanghe, which is also known as Yellow River. And the other is called Yangtze River. The Yellow River is known as Sorrow of China since it changed the course often and caused frequent floods in China. So in this map you can see the two major rivers of China, Yangtze and Hawangho. Polity and Emperors Shi Huangdi or Queen Shi Huang which means first emperor founded the Qin or the Qin dynasty. The emperor had the title Son of Heaven. He is considered as first emperor of China. The period between 221 and 206 BC is known as Imperial Era in China. So in this picture you can see Shi Huangdi or Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. He defeated the feudal lords and established a strong empire. Shi Huangdi destroyed the walled fortification of different states and constructed the Great Wall of China to protect the empire from invading nomadic people. The Terracotta Army The Terracotta Army refers to the large collection of terracotta warrior images found in China. They depict the armies of the king, Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. They were buried with the king in 210 BC. So in this picture you can see the large terracotta army of the king, Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Now, let us watch and know the Great Wall of China through this small video.
you enjoyed watching the video on great wall of china next the han empire during this period a written history of this empire was made available in china the greatest of the han emperors wu ti the great ruled from 141 bc to 87 bc he expanded the empire and built many public amenities including irrigation tanks so in this picture you can see the greatest han emperor wu ti the great he sent zhang quan as emissary to the west in 138 bc thereby paved the way for the opening of the silk road in 130 bc to encourage trade activities because of silk road china benefited immensely and chinese silk was much sought after so in this picture you can see the ancient silk road of the chinese civilization philosophy and literature chinese poets and philosophers such as laozi confucius mencius moti and tao chian contributed to the development of chinese civilization sun tzu a military strategist wrote the book called art of war the yellow emperors canon of medicine is considered china's earliest written book on medicine now let us learn about the different philosophers of china first laozi he is considered as master archive keeper of chao state he was the founder of taoism he argued that desire is the root cause of all desires so in this picture you can see the philosopher laozi two confucius he was the famous among the chinese philosophers he was a political reformer he said if personal life is cultivated family life is regulated and once family life is regulated national life is regulated so in this picture you can see the famous chinese philosopher and political reformer confucius 3 mencius he was another well known chinese philosopher he traveled throughout china and offered his counsel to different rulers of china so in this picture you can see the philosopher mencius chinese script chinese developed a writing system from an early time initially it was a pictographic system and later it was converted into a symbol form so in this picture you can see the chinese script which was pictographic in nature but later it was converted into a symbol form contributions of chinese civilization writing system was improved invention of paper opening of silk road invention of gunpowder were the important contributions of the chinese civilization to the modern world i hope you understood the lesson now answer few questions connected to the lesson that's all with the third part of the video till we meet again it is your social teacher signing off bye take care